Breaking the Spell Sir Gus awoke to the sound of doves cooing in his ears. He felt the birds rubbing against his chin. Luckily for him, he was asleep when Albert the wizard cast his spell. Because he was asleep, Sir Gus was not affected by the spell. The doves that were released when the jousting began had come back to the arena and woken him up. Sir Gus rubbed his eyes. He lifted himself up off the ground. Then he dusted himself off and looked around. He could not quite believe what he saw. The hundreds of people who were clapping and cheering were now fast asleep. All of them. Just then, Sir Gus saw the Black Knight ride past. The Black Knight was carrying a sleeping King Alfred away on his horse. Sir Gus followed the Black Knight. He saw him carry the king down the steps that led to the palace dungeon. Sir Gus was confused. Goodness, what is happening? he said to himself. Sir Gus crept down into the dungeon to look for the king. It was very cold and dark in the dungeon. Sir Gus did not like it one bit. He grabbed a torch to help him see in the dark. The torch made things even scarier, for it let Sir Gus see all the scary things in the dungeon. He saw water dripping down from the damp walls. He saw puddles. He saw mice and rats running back and forth. Sir Gus shivered. He did not like mice, nor was he fond of rats. The dungeon was filled with cobwebs and scary spiders. The sight of the spiders made Sir Gus tremble and shake. Sir Gus made his way past lots of cobwebs. In the end, he found King Alfred asleep in a tiny cell. Sir Gus went into the cell. A bat swooped from one dark corner to another. Sir Gus was afraid of bats. He jumped with fright and ran over to the king. The terrified knight reached for King Alfred's left hand. As Sir Gus grabbed it, several strands from the web of a male garden spider were rubbed into the king's left hand. Instantly, the king awoke.